The Minister of Information and Culture, flanked by his counterpart from the Ministries of Labour, Education, Aviation and Youth and Sports, said the sum of 20,845,000,000 is approved for the rehabilitation of the road, which according to him will reduce road accidents and loss of lives, reduce travel time and operating costs for transporters and commuters, and more importantly, it will enhance the movement of petroleum products. The significance of the award of this contract is that it will reduce road accidents and loss of you know, lives, of course. And of course, it will reduce the travel time and the operating cost for transporters and their commuters. And more importantly, uh, it will enhance the movement of petroleum and agricultural products and also facilitate uh, other commercial activities. Minister of State for Aviation, Hadis Rika, said the council has approved 4.2 billion naira for the procurement of fully automated firefighting simulator to be installed at Aviation College Technology area. And the purpose of that memo was um, to add contract for the design, manufacture and installation of fully automated fire and smoke aircraft training simulator in Nigerian College of Aviation Technology area. Hadis Rika added that the installation of the firefighting equipment is extremely important because since the session of the present administration in 2015, it was found several hundred thousand dollars is approved every year for firefighters to go to Cameroon to get training for proficiency in firefighting and come back to fight fire in Nigeria with 30 airports. Also, briefing Minister of Education, Adam Adamu, said the council has approved 873 million naira for the construction of Faculty of Law Structure in the University of Uo, Akwa Ibom State for the completion period of 12 months. University, it will enable it to house the Faculty of Law uh, on its main campus and then provide office spaces, moot courts and so on. And the completion period is one year. Minister of State, Labour and Employment, Stephen Usani, gave a review of the activities of Ministry of Labour and Employment since the session in 2015. We will look at the driving at work regulations, employee compensation act. This is a committee that has been ongoing. And of course, under the different regulations, particularly the driving at work regulation, uh, jobs up to about 15,000 unemployed Nigerians or graduates are likely to be employed if this regulation it comes into full effect. Also, Minister of Youth and Sports Solomon Dalung gave a scorecard of his ministry since exception. From State House Abuja, I am Hassan Umar Farouk for Liberty News.